Folks, my next guest tonight is one of the living legends of the theater. She won Tony Awards for her role in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and Hello, Dolly, which she's currently reprising on Broadway. Folks, please welcome back to our show, Carol Channing. Here. Oh, Thank I'm you for glad. coming. You remember I was here before. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm glad. Yes, I remembered. Yeah. You make an impression, Carol, wherever you go. <laughs> you really do. I remember it very clearly. Uh, Thanks for coming back. Oh, you're welcome, Andy. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. I'm glad to see you, Carol. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's. <laughs> And everything's fine, and we, you know, we're gonna... It's wonderful. Things are going well it's for the you. the happiest year and a half of my life. Well, okay, yeah, I mean, Hello, Dolly's going great, and this, I saw this Vanity Fair photo. This blew me away. Isn't that the end? This is, this man's name, the photographer, is Firuz Fahidi. My God. Yeah. That's a... And we had, Tony and I, got to tell you, we had three racks of clothes hanging there. Giorgio Armani, Bob Mackie, they had everything, all of it. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? I, I said, okay, so I took off what I had. He came in and said, I like that. So he took, we spent all from morning until night photographing me with nothing on but a feather between my legs. And, and then, then yeah, right, this is true, we should, and, and, and then the, the police came and broke the whole thing up. That's what I understand happened. Is that right? Well, anyway, <laughs> the thing is that my son, uh -huh. you know how children are, I mean, they always say, oh, mother, do you have to, you know, yeah. do you have to look like a motorcycle cop, and oh, why do you have to, you know, and, and do you have to go around with nothing on him. We go to the doctor's office and he says, you have to take your clothes off to put that smock on. And I said, right. yes, of course I do. Well, all of a sudden, he said, I've, I've got that picture up in my office. He's a political cartoonist. He's syndicated by the Chicago Tribune. He's proud of this photo then. He put it up in the office and he said, do you have a mother that can be photographed with nothing but a feather between her legs? And he's proud of it. He well, finally let's show, grew let's up. Let's show, I think we should show the photo, Kyle. There it is, look. You have, I mean, you, uh, this is, I don't want to creep you out. You just have the, a very young body there on you. That's well, eight shows a week does that to anybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we have, eight shows a week without any time off. We, we do five shows a week here, yeah, uh, and nude, it's a disaster for me, Carol. Yes, uh -huh. It's the, Andy, tell her. Get a load of me five <laughs> shows a week. <laughs> What's happened to us? Well... This is only your 508th show, is it? How did you know that? <laughs> I found out from oh, the floor. Oh, okay, all right, yes. Yeah, so I think we've done about 508 of these. 500, yes. he happened to mention it. Well, you're just brand new, that's, that's all right. it is. That's right. Getting... Wait until it's your 4,500. That's mm -hmm. when we opened on Broadway only a couple of you've weeks, done that many, weeks ago. You've done that many shows? That was opening night on Broadway was 4,500. Oh, my just God, that's incredible. Dolly. That's incredible. Not only other shows. Yes. Well, and also... Never missed a show. Did you ever miss a show? No, I've never missed a show. No, yeah. Never missed a, missed a show. show. Never missed a no, show. No, me either. Okay. Well, this yeah. is well, the, well. Well, you've done so much more than us. But I mean, this is also a show where I get to sit here. Andy and I can sit here and chat. In Hello Dolly, you are running all over the place. Yes. You're you're a whirlwind. How do you do that? How do you actually sustain the energy to run around what, like that? You know what it is. I'll tell you what it is. We have a, a, a runway that goes out over the audience. See, mm -hmm. live theaters like this. We have this runway. And behind me are all these gorgeous young men. They are so beautiful. They're like a team of thoroughbred horses. <laughs> and the Carol, you yeah. must not objectify men. We're people. No, no. This, these are, are the most... The, anyway, they are the greatest dancers on Broadway. And uh -huh. the gun goes off for the Hello, Dolly number. And it's like... This team of there we go, and it's like plugging me into the nearest outlet on the wall, and suddenly I am 
re my batteries are recharged and the anodes and the cathodes remember when we learned about those in chemistry class yes i do well they're those things you send out and uh -huh. things come back at you from the audience you we send out the anodes and the cathodes come back and it's that's live theater and we're dealing with human beings not a screen mm -hmm. not a record not a not a cassette these are people and each of them is different every night. I mean, their metabolism is different and we're working on them and they come back at us differently every night. And it's alive and it's the most thrilling You've thing. got me whipped up about well, this thing. Well, you yeah. see, that's <laughs> what causes energy. You uh -huh. asked me what, it's, it's uh, incredible. Human beings con contacting one mm -hmm. another creates energy in both the human beings. That's what happens. It's and those boys and the audience and all that's live theater. It's something that not everybody knows about. No. But once you're exposed to it, you're addicted to you it. You get addicted to it. And so you want to just keep doing Hello Dolly? No, on? I don't want to keep doing Hello Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> I just want to be in live theater. You oh, know. okay. Well, yeah. that's good.